A learning target? Given certain properties and characteristics, find the equation of a line. Um, this should all be review, but let's walk through different ways you can be asked these questions. So I've got four or five examples here that we're going to walk through. So the first example, find the equation of the line in the xy plane that has slope 4 and contains the point 2, 3. For all these questions, always use y equals mx plus b. That's the form of a line. Um, that's where m is the slope and b is the y-intercept. Uh, we're given that m is 4 and we're given these points this point 2, 3, so that means y is 3 and when x is 2, y is 3. So that's all, we're, all we need here is to solve for b, so we can plug everything in uh, and then oscillate b and we get what b equals 3 minus 8, so b equals negative 5 therefore we have our line, y equals 4x minus 5 so the 4 is the slope m, y equals mx plus b. So m is 4 and we just found that b is negative 5. So y equals 4x minus 5. Here's the second example. Find the equation of the line in the xy plane that contains the points 2, 1, and 5, 3. When you're talking about lines, the first thing you always want to know is the slope. If you aren't given the slope, that should be the first thing you always ask yourself, well, what is the slope? Because the slope tells us everything. Uh, so, first thing we have to do here is we're, we're given two points. We're not given the slope, but we're given two points. And given two points, we can always determine the slope. So, the slope is y sub 2 minus y sub 1 over x sub 2 minus x sub 1. So, that's going to be 3 minus 1 over 5 minus 2, which is what? 2 thirds. So we have a slope of 2 thirds. Now, let's jump to our uh, slope intercept form. Y equals mx plus b. So that is we can plug 2 thirds in for m. We can pick either one of these points to use for x, y. We just have to pick one point and use it. Use 5, 3 for x and y or use 2, 1 for x and y. Um, I, I like to use the ones that look simpler. Uh, so for x, I use 2 and for y when x is 2 y is 1 so 1 equals 2 thirds times 2 plus b and note that if I would have used the point 5 3 and if we've done all, all of our work correctly we would still get the same answer uh, so what is 2 times 2 thirds that's 4 thirds so b equals 1 minus 4 thirds and w so ask yourself how many thirds is 1 1 is clearly three-thirds, so three-thirds minus four-thirds is a negative one-third. Therefore we have the equation of our line is y equals two-thirds x minus one-third. And again I challenge you to go back here at this point and instead of using the point two one, use the point five three and build confidence that you will get the same answer. Our third example is going to be Find the equation of the line in the xy plane that contains the point negative 4, negative 5 and is parallel to the line y equals negative 2x plus 3. Now from our algebra, we should know that if, if when you're parallel to a line, you have the same slope. So since the line we are looking for is parallel to y equals a negative 2x plus 3, we know that it has the same slope, m equals negative 2. So we have a slope and we have a point, so we can jump right to y equals mx plus b. So when m is a negative 2, uh, and then when x is negative 5, we have y equals negative 4. So let's plug all that in. m is negative 2, x is negative 4, coming from right here, and y is negative 5. So what do we, do we get? Uh, b equals a negative, negative 2 times negative 4 is a positive 8. So negative 5 minus 8, we're going to get b is a negative 13. Uh, therefore, the equation of our line is y equals a negative 2x minus 13. Next example. Find the equation of the line in the xy plane that contains the point 4, 1 and is perpendicular to the line y equals 3x plus 5. Again, from prerequisite knowledge, we should know when you're perpendicular to a line the, s the slope of any line perpendicular to this line, y equals 3x plus 5. 
its slope is the negative reciprocal of the slope of this line. So since the line we are looking for is perpendicular to the line y equals 3x plus 5, we know that it has the slope m equals negative one-third. That it is, it is the negative reciprocal of the slope of the line that we are given if it is perpendicular to that line. Uh, so now, again, we're given a slope and we're given a point. Well, we, we weren't given the slope. We had to find the slope. Uh, we were kind of given it, but, uh, but we're given the point and then we're given the information perpendicular to this line. So that gives us the slope, negative one-third. So now we have a slope and we have a point and it's back to the same game. Uh, y equals mx plus b, plugging in for m, negative one-third, plugging one in for x, and four in for y. And what will it get? b equals one plus four-thirds, and one is, again, three-thirds, so that's going to give me b equals seven-thirds. Therefore, we have our line, y equals a negative one-third x plus seven-thirds. Uh, the final example for this video lesson is going to be find the equation of the line in the xy plane that contains the points 0, 1, and 5, 1. Okay, both of them have the same output, y is 1. y is 1. So we should be, you should be seeing in your mind here a horizontal line. Uh, the slope of this line is going to be 1 minus 1 over 5 minus 0 which equals zero, of course. A horizontal line has a slope of zero. So, now we have the slope of zero. Y equals mx plus b, so m is zero. Uh, let's use zero for x and one for y. So we have one equals zero times zero plus b. Zero times zero is indeed zero. So, b equals one. So we have y equals zero x plus one because our slope m is zero. Therefore, the equation of this line is y equals 1. Okay, the, this is what our constant functions, you would, if you wanted to call this a function, it would be f of x equals 1 is the horizontal line passing through y equals 1, or f of x equals 10 is the horizontal line passing through uh, y equals 10. Um, anyway, that will conclude this video lesson on lines. Thank you.